Hi, Justin. So you're actually an incredible miracle. You improved uh, uh, from, level, from level two to a level five uh, in just a just two months, really, right? So tell Pretty us much. about your story. Uh, so um, basically, uh, to start off, choosing chemistry was the biggest mistake I made in my um, IB life. Mm -hmm. I, I I guess I did have some interest in initially, but then I just quickly lost it, which is more of a win. And I got like a level two in my um, mm -hmm. mock grade, uh, like a few months before my actual IB exam, and also. Um, I guess I, I at the end I did man I get I, I at the end I actually managed to get a five which was actually a huge surprise and I guess it was the exam that really I, I guess it was I didn't do too bad comparatively I guess but 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 then I I'm definitely sure my exams pulled up. Um, because I know your, your eyes were probably around the level three, level four, that, that sort of range. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. I didn't do it too well. So actually, me. Justin, it is quite an achievement to achieve a level two for chemistry. Like you have to actually have to try to get that low. <laughs> could, you, could you tell us uh, how do you screw it up so bad? I didn't do jack tiddly squat. <laughs> pretty much. That, 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 was, that was pretty much what... I didn't do jack tiddly squat, so okay. That it was that so it's it, it's that sim it it's simple in a way, but it's also mind boggling how somebody can be that lazy. So <laughs> okay, so what you know, I know you basically so basically you learned the entire course in the last two months. You because if you're a level two, I assume you didn't know anything. But just uh, three months before the final exam, you got your act together and learned everything about a level five. Right? I believe for your exam, you probably got a six, right? So. Um, what gave you the motivation to, to change so much? I guess I just... Well, well for, for, for starters, if you actually get a grade so low, you, you come that close to failing. So, right. so, so that, that, that's number one. Actually, if you're level two, you already failed. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I, okay, I, I forgot it. It's been so long. But um, also, um, I didn't want to like, disappoint anyone. Like, I... I sought help from like many ends, and I and I didn't want to dis. I I just wanted to. Uh, I of course I didn't want to disappoint you. I didn't want to disappoint my. Of course I also didn't want to disappoint my parents who, who put quite a like who who, who did put a lot of uh, uh, effort in helping me and and okay. I wanted to sort of achieve. Because I'm not I'm not a stupid person. I'm just I'm, I'm just the I'm just the lazy worm. So yeah. Yeah, okay, so can you tell us a bit about how your studying approach changed after you joined HKXL? Um, or how did HKXL help you through well, the process? Well, well, what we basically did was you would very quickly, some, it, was, it, it was quite quickly how you would go through the questions, um, like, like um, here's, he, he, here's like the most important formula, and then um, here's some questions. Let let's try and use this formula, and then, and uh, and so after we we would do uh, quite a, we most of the time it was me doing a lot of questions and just sort of asking uh, where I got got it wrong, and after that I would go home and do it myself, mm -hmm. and of course, and that that's the other half of. That's the other half. You actually have to go home and do the question, the, do the questions at home, or else it, it, this doesn't really work. And then after, if I if I think I'm if there, there's something I'm not sure with the question, I would come back and ask. And and and, and I guess the process just sort of re re the the process just repeats. So it's itself. very exam oriented teaching. Get it let you to know the most important points, short period of time, a lot of practice, sorted by topic. Basically, yeah. Okay. Okay. So I think. Um, you know, Justin is very inspiring. Like, how could someone improve uh, from but from a level two to a level five, or even a level six in just two months? It's mind-boggling, right? So I hope you guys learned something from Justin today. So I think some of the key lessons you should learn is first of all, Justin uh, uh, used a very outcome-oriented approach. He focused on getting the level five, right? He had a very clear goal. He he basically focused on the outcome. You weren't interested in learning chemistry, but you were interested in getting the score. Right. Basically, I, so, I, it's not the best. Of, I, 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 I have to admit, it's not the best approach. But if you yeah. do end up in the situation where it's too late to change to a subject, or you're 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 stuck there, you that that you're that's your only choice left. And 
you just have to go for it. Yeah. It's not. It's not. It's not particularly fun. I'll admit that. Yeah. But it works. And yeah. Exam you just oriented. Have to, you, 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 you just, you just have to do it. And second thing is, I think Justin, you that your before you expected your your expectation of yourself was quite low. You you thought level two was like a norm for you, but very soon after getting some boost of confidence from us from your parents. You change your expectation. You aim for a level five, and in the end, that's what you got. That's very good. And also, I, one thing that one kind of way of studying that really worked well for Justin was a sorted by topic um, mock exam question drilling. Right? You need to do questions topic by topic, subtopic by subtopic, and you really you really see the patterns when you do more question frames, especially yeah. for chemistry. Yeah, yeah so so spe- especially with chemistry because it's because because it's science. You there like like you have your rule and. And you just put it into every single other situation, and yeah, that's how you do it. But uh, one, one more before we go. One more thing is, uh, I believe Justin, if if you got help for your I earlier, you would you, you probably may have gotten a level six for your chem. That probably, would keep, probably, put you up a notch in the I. Probably, uh, yeah. I'm I'm pretty sure because I really botched on my eyes, so. I'm pretty sure I would have done better if my if, if I did get help faster. So that that's the final word I want to leave you guys. If you know you're screwed, get help early. Get help as early as possible because there's still it, it, you won't regret it. Because I mean, two months was enough. For me to make that sort of leap, I, yeah. I I would imagine I would imagine more time would definitely make it a lot better. Good. So uh, next time we'll interview somebody else who similar to Justin achieved dramatic improvements. Okay. So if we see Justin around, just say hi to him. He's a really <laughs> cool guy. Bye bye. So thanks a lot for watching this video today. So uh, if you like this video, you can subscribe to our channel here. Just by clicking here, uh, there will be a lot of study tips uh, updated weekly. And if you want help for some IB subjects. Even if you're living outside of Hong Kong, you still register for a free trial lesson on our uh, online platform. So just click right here. Okay, and bring you to that uh, online platform. You can choose a topic you want to cover with us. We'll give you a free lesson, uh, a lot of exam techniques, uh, concepts covered in great depth. Okay, so see you next time.